Hey everybody, this is Cedric from 3D Bennett and today I'll be showing you a quick guide on how to use the Node Wrangler. Node Wrangler, um, I'm going to show you how I use it and what I use it for most with. I'm not going over all the features because really, Node Wrangler is enormous and it has tons of features. Um, but I'll be going quickly over what I use most and what other artists I think use most to quicken their workflow. So, first things first, how do I enable the Node Wrangler? Well, my dear friend, you go to File, User Preferences, Add-ons, and just type in Node. And then you get the Node Wrangler. Again, like here, enlarge it. Uh, it was made by Bartek Skorupa, Greg Zal, and Sebastian Kunik. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and then you just enable it here by enabling it yeah <laughs> and then you go to save user settings and close it again and now you have the node wrangler so how does it quicken my um my workflow well normally uh, i've got basic shaders up here uh, okay i want to connect these make a mix shader normally i would go like this uh, mix shader and connect these green dots here and uh, it's not really easy to select something and there you go and it took a while it took six seven seconds that's too long i don't want to do that um so uh, the first and foremost thing i use note wrangler for is uh the lazy mix shader uh that happens if you uh, press alt and then right click and drag two shaders you get a mix shader between the two it's awesome second thing you can do is shift right click uh, I mean, control right click, sorry. And then you can connect to uh, values, which for Blender seem, or for Node Wrangler, seem the most logical to connect. And then the third uh, I use most is control shift and click. And that will fast preview a shader actually connected to the material I put. So why are these handy? Uh, well, it quickens your workflow. This took less time. I mean, if you do it, uh, if you do it quickly, you can actually just, uh, there you go. Save me three seconds of time. If you save three seconds and five seconds, you save three hours and five hours. So that seems a lot more time, doesn't it? <laughs> also is a bit handy. Um, also the quick preview shader is very handy if you want to see what everything does. So again, if you control uh, shift and click left click is you can preview the different shaders and you can even preview uh, things with a value output or you can preview um, if I go into vector bump you can preview normals which is also quite handy for instance if I just uh, put in a texture noise texture into the height I can see how this influences uh, the map without having it uh, directly into something and having kind of to guess if this is good, this is what I want, I can check the normals here. Uh, so that's very handy. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of more things here. Uh, for instance, I have a noise texture here. I want to uh, add a mapping note and stuff and that's... Uh, I, I don't even know where this is. Um, converter, mapping, yeah, I can't even find it. But if you just click something with a vector input and press Ctrl T, you get the texture coordinate and a mapping node connected for you. So then you can just like rotate it, uh, location it, scale it for awesome things to make things like scratches. <laughs> uh, and if you do the Ctrl T thing for a shader, it will add an image texture, a mapping, and a texture coordinate set on UV. And then you can actually just quickly uh, open up a texture and put it in the fuse, which is also very handy. So the last thing I want to show you, uh, which I found out pretty recently whilst researching this, um, is that you can actually, if you have two textures, like a Voronoi texture and another Voronoi texture that's maybe smaller, and say I want to multiply these two. Now I need to go color, mix RGB. Takes too long. So if I just select these two and press Ctrl plus, 
then I'll add these two. And then I've got these two added, got a very bright texture here. And that's very cool. Also, if I select these two and press Control multiply on the numpad, the asterisk, asterisk, and then he will, oh, I've gone wrong a bit, okay, <laughs> Control multiply, it will multiply these two and actually darken up the image. This also works for Control minus, will subtract, and Control slash will, oh, and Control slash will divide. Um, there are also a bunch of others you can use control uh, less normally this would be uh, equal does also add apparently so yeah um, <laughs> there are a bunch of others um, you can find them out on the blender wiki uh, so why is this feature handy well for two it might be a bit like uh, what would you do that I mean it's a shortcut more I need to learn but Take you have eight Fortnite textures and you want to combine them. Just select them all, press Ctrl, multiply, and there you have it. You have all of the things multiplied once now. You have like this Harry Pottery dark texture. It's really nice. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, and then I can just. Uh, oh, I Alt right clicked. I meant to. Uh, Control right click and put them in the not in the Fresnel. Uh, in a bump node in the strength. And put them in the normals like this. Yeah. Well, it goes faster if you use a lazy connect like this. There you go. And then you go into the Control right click and there you have it. You have uh, you can preview the Fresnel, you can preview the bump, you can preview the glossy, and you can preview the next year. So yeah, Node Wrangler will really fasten up your process. And it's really awesome. Um if you want to know more features about this, this is my Facebook. Uh <laughs> if you want to know more features about this, uh visit the um uh, the Note Wrangler page on Blender Wiki, that's wiki.blender.org slash index.php slash extensions. Uh, well, just look for Note Wrangler on Google and you'll find it. And they'll give a bunch of good explanations on how to do stuff with GIFs that actually show it. You have the lazy mix and, uh, and the lazy merge. Uh, but you also have the batch change, which is really awesome. The mix factor. I mean, they have so many features. Um, you can just leave your mouse behind and just work with your keyboard, I guess. Um, it's really handy. The shader view is, is the one I showed you. And on this page, you can see like a bunch of stuff, like add reroutes. It's awesome. I didn't even know that. Wow. Didn't do my research correctly. But well, uh, if you want to see what can help you personally in your workflow, just visit this page and check out, oh, I used this so many times, it took up so much time, but this will make my workflow so much faster. Then use it, learn it. Um, being able to do technical stuff faster gives you more time to be creative. If you have more time to be creative, you'll get better work uh, done. So yeah, check out this page, be creative with it. Um, I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe. Uh, uh, yeah, and um, I'll see you next time. Happy blending! Isn't that what they say?